Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, or Fire TV device. Now, jailbreaking a Fire Stick is a common term used by many cord cutters and also those interested in home technology. However, the term jailbreak is actually very misleading as we are not actually modifying any firmware. All we are doing is sideloading third-party applications that are not available inside the Amazon App Store. So you'll see here I have a complete in-depth guide on how to jailbreak a Fire Stick, including multiple screenshot tutorials, different settings, tips, and much more. Now guys, before diving in, it is important to mention the legality behind jailbreaking a Fire Stick. Jailbreaking a Fire Stick is in fact 100% legal. All we are doing in this process is enabling unknown sources within the settings. This just allows for the installation of third-party apps or add-ons not available inside the Amazon App Store. So guys, installing these apps is not illegal in any way. The legal issues come with the content inside of some of these third-party applications. So at IPTV Wire, we only recommend viewing public domain content and legal live TV providers. Again, the end user shall be solely responsible for any media access through any device, app, add-on, or service mentioned on our website or media properties. Again, guys, we cannot verify whether unverified apps hold the proper licensing for the content that they deliver. Now, to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device, the first step we need to do is hover over the Find on the home screen, click Search, and then type in Downloader. And you'll see here Downloader does appear before I finish. Click Downloader. And then click the orange icon for Downloader under Apps and Games. And then click Download. And then we're going to wait a few seconds here while Downloader is installing on our Fire Stick. Alright, now before launching Downloader, there are a few settings we need to change in order to properly jailbreak our Fire Stick. So click the home button on your remote and then come over and hover over the settings icon. Scroll down and click My Fire TV. Click About. And then click Fire TV Stick 4K or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. So we now have developer access on our Fire Stick. So once you see that message, click the back button, and now you should see developer options. Click that, and then click apps from unknown sources. Then click turn on, and we have now enabled apps from unknown sources. So technically guys, we have just jailbroken our Fire Stick, but let's go back now to the home screen and find Downloader. So if you hover over find, Excuse me, let's hover over the home screen here and scroll down and then click Downloader under Recently Used Apps. Click Allow. Click OK. And you've now installed the Downloader app. Now that we've installed Downloader on our Fire Stick, we are able to sideload thousands of applications not available inside the Amazon App Store. So to do that, hover over the search box and click the OK button. And now I'm going to enter the following code, 298344, double check that and click go. And you're just going to wait a few seconds here while you are redirected to our IPTV Wire Quick Links page. And just wait a few seconds and here we go. And as you'll see, you are now on our IPTV Wire Quick Links page. The first thing I would suggest doing is I would suggest coming to the top right and clicking this icon with the three lines and I'd click add current page to favorites and then click save. So you have now saved our quick links page to your bookmarks within downloader. So guys, if you scroll down and browse along in, in our quick links page here, you will notice all the different streaming apps and tools that we can now sideload on our fire stick as these are not available in the Amazon app store. So some popular apps after people jailbreak their Fire Sticks that they want to install include Kodi, some live TV players like TV Mate, MX Player, um, some third-party app stores, Fast Task Killer. 
So guys, in this quick example, I'll just install the most recent version of Kodi 20. So you go ahead and click any icon you'd like, but I'm gonna click Kodi in this example. So if I click Kodi 20, now we're just gonna wait a few seconds while it installs on our device. All right, after Kodi has installed, I'm gonna go ahead and click install, and then just wait a few seconds again. And then once the app is installed, click done. And guys, one thing I would suggest doing if you install third-party apps is I would delete the installation files as your internal storage can stack up pretty quickly. So click delete, click delete again, and now hold down the home button on your remote, click apps, and then we can find Kodi here. So I'm actually gonna move both downloader and Kodi to the top front of my apps list. So to do that, let's go back to the app screen. So to do that, click the options button with the three lines, click move, and now we can place downloader or whatever app wherever we want on our list. So I'm gonna move both downloader and Kodi towards the front of my apps list. So click the home button, and you'll see that they are now here. Now guys, it is important to mention that before I would use any third-party applications after jailbreaking my Fire Stick, I would always ensure that I am connected to a trusted VPN. Surfshark VPN is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire, and with our special link in the description below, you can get up to 82% off with two months free. Now guys, I personally just do not trust unverified app developers or my ISP seeing what I am doing online and using a trusted VPN like Surfshark can ensure that my internet connection is now protected. So again, guys, this is Bodhi. I really appreciate you watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.